What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits on channel from Russia with love and I hope you did enjoy the views of Morocco in this small video. So iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max have a new feature called cinematic mode, but it has some caveats and limitations. And also you can get some cinematic footage without cinematic mode, too many cinematic words in one sentence. So let's dive into it and break down the techniques I used to create this video. So first, cinematic mode is only 1080p 30 frames per second. That is why I created a 24 frames per second project and set the speed of the clips to 80%, so it matches the 24p, but slowed down. 24p is subconsciously associated with movies because most of all are shot in 24p. Yes, slowing down the footage is not the best way, but at least it works, since we don't have any other frame rates in cinematic mode, at least as for now. The next important thing about cinematic mode is that it looks much better with lower digital f-stops. Lower f-stop has less artifacts of digital blur and still looks more blurry than using a regular mode, even if you use f7.1 or f8. So I suggest using f-stops between f5.6 and f11 in cinematic mode for better results. By the way, the latest version of Final Cut Pro supports cinematic mode and you can set the focus and choose the f-stop directly in Final Cut but I use a lot of plugins which wouldn't work with the latest version, so I first tweak the videos on my iPhone 13 Pro Max and then transfer the files to my computer. Also, we have to consider that there are cases when cinematic modes simply can't detach the object from the background properly. For example, it really struggles with detaching hair, like on this shot, or with birds or animals, like on those shots and especially with this dog. Look, we don't have the blur between his legs. So you have to be careful and think about potentially tough objects and be ready not to use certain shots in your final edit. Also, cinematic mode uses HDR by default and it's an HLG or hybrid log gamma. So in post you'll have to either work in HDR timeline or, like in my case, pull down the highlights a lot to properly expose. That's not the best workflow, but it works for me pretty fine. As you might have noticed, I didn't use cinematic mode entirely in this video. I used a lot of 4K60 for slow motion and for shots with deep plane of focus where background blur is not needed like on those landscape shots with the seagulls. So you can also switch to 4K60 in such cases to get better resolution and slow motion. After all, the word cinematic, which is highly overused these days, is related not only to the background blur we get with big sensor cameras and fast lenses, but also to lighting, composition, frame rate, color and even aspect ratio. It's a combination of factors that we often see in feature films and our brain thinks, wow, that looks like a movie, it's cinematic. So let's have a look at those factors starting with aspect ratio. I applied a ladder box which cuts the image from top and bottom and makes it to 35 to 1 aspect ratio, which we see a lot in widescreen cinema. It's a pretty well known and rather overwhelming way of making your footage look more cinematic. Yeah, I know, this word starts to irritate you guys. We already talked about frame rate of 24 fps. By the way, I slowed down 60p footage to 40% to properly play it back at 24 frames per second. Then comes the framing and overall composition. As you saw from the video, I used a lot of rules of composition to better draw your attention to the important parts of the image. First, central composition like in this shot with the camel in the desert, the rule of thirds like in those shots with my wife Katusha, and the guys looking at something in the ocean. Also a lot of leading lines like in those shots, And finally, the sunset lighting, which is very soft and beautiful by itself, but also provides us with high contrast when we shoot against the sun, so we can clearly see the silhouettes, which is a very popular method of drawing your attention as well. Because our eyes immediately define a person or a seagull by looking at it for less than a second. To sum up, composition, framing, good lighting and contrast are very powerful tools in creating great shots even with your iPhone. One more way of getting a cinematic footage is having the correct shutter speed. So in a couple of shots I was using the ND filters made by Case Company and I have a big separate review and also I was using the Filmic Pro app and setting the correct shutter speed in this app. But it's not possible in cinematic mode, so I only did it in a couple of shots with 4K60. 
Let's move on to color. Cinematic color is a huge topic and I'd say it's very personal. For some people Michael Bay's Transformers teal and orange is cinematic. For some people really natural and calm colors like in Sam Mendes' Revolutionary Road are cinematic. Or having cool colors like The Revenant by Alejandro Gonzalez in Yorito. In my case I decided that this color is looking pretty good to me. I lowered the brightness of highlights to about 75 IRE and also didn't apply too much contrast or saturation. Hope you like my color grade. Let me know about it in the comment section below. A few more life hacks. Since iPhone's footage is very over sharpened, I apply 1% of Gaussian blur to some shots and to others I applied focus effect so the edges of the frame are a little bit blurry and not as sharp indeed. Also I added 50% of 35mm ultra fine grain using the Film Convert plugin because a lot of great movies are shot on film and we are used to certain amounts of film grain and associated with good movies like Christopher Nolan's or Quentin Tarantino's for instance. And the final touch is sound design. It provides you with more immersive experience, I added the sound of windy desert, ocean waves, crowded city and of course seagulls. So guys, as you saw, we can improve cinematic mode and tweak the image a lot to get some creative results. I hope you did get some helpful info from this video and if you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell as well. This was Oleg Nikitin and No Limits on channel from Russia with Love and here is my Instagram and a couple of videos for you to watch next. Thank you very much and I see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.